guys welcome back to my channel today i have a tutorial based on this glam look so carry on watching if you guys would like to learn how to recreate this look so first i'm going to use a primer to keep my skin healthy and makeup intact and applying it gently with my fingertips on my face it's it's very important to make your skin breathe because we use a lot of products on our face and hence primer work as a shield to keep it protected. Now slowly I am moving towards the neck. I am starting off with Anastasia cream contour palette in medium and picking the orange color and applying it on the eyelid. As you can see, I have uneven skin tone on different area of my face and this really works and makes sure that there is no discoloration. Following the same steps on the other eye and making sure everything looks good. Next taking Oriflame Studio Artist Loose Powder, I am applying on top of the orange color with very really light handed because this will help to absorb any moisture you have and gives a better base to work on. Moving to the foundation, I am using Makeup Studio Face It in yellow and now will use it on my eyelid and buff it all over. You will see I am not pressing it but buffing it with gentle strokes which gives a better result. as a base and this is one of my favorite product as it keeps my eye makeup from not creasing and colors to pop. I generally apply little product every time and then reapply if needed but will never overdo a simple trick that I follow because less is more and it really works for me. Let me know in the comment below if you guys also do it. To groom your eyebrows as you can see I am using a mascara wand and brushing it here upwards so that it is easy to tame them and give a right shape. I am using Wow Shine Pro Liner Cake Type which has three different color one black, deep brown and medium brown ideal for everyone no matter whatever is your skin tone. To speed up the process, I am done with my left eyebrow and now I am outlining the shape starting from bottom moving upwards towards the arch of my brow and then again on top. As you can see once I get into the arch I then change the direction of my brush to go towards on an angle and then I will be creating my tip. So once I outline my brow, I'll fill in the tip first and now I'm going to give a hair like stroke to the brow hair and now going to fill in with whatever is there in the brush. Now it's time to clean up with a concealer or foundation of your choice under the brow and this makes your eyebrow more defined and sharp. People do ask me how my eyebrows look so defined in the picture and this is the secret behind it. Mm -hmm. 
Something went wrong with the camera and I couldn't record the eye makeup. Using the same Anastasia cream contour kit in the medium, I'm color correcting my face. This helps to hide any pigmentation, marks or blemishes that you have on your face. applying the foundation on top of it and blending it all over my face to make it look seamless. This is a medium coverage foundation but it blends really well into the skin and you can reapply if you want a full coverage. But it works good for my skin and the best part as it is not at all. Kiki. I am now contouring my face, my cheekbones, forehead, jawline to give more structure and definition to the face and make it look lifted and now blending it all over. Moving to my nose, I am using Anastasia powder contour palette in medium to light and giving here a shape to my nose so it looks well defined. Using a sponge, I'm baking my face with same Oriflame Studio Artist loose powder to the highest point of my face. And we all know what magic it does and how photogenic a picture looks. Let it sit for minimum 10 minutes. Now using a real technique powder brush, I am dusting off the powder. It really takes care of the under eye skin. Time for blush. I am using Milani Luminaso Baked Powder Blush and applying it on the apple of my cheeks and chin. Highlighting my face with the MAC soft and gentle and put that onto the highlights of the face and pressing it into the high points of the face and also apply it to the bridge of your nose and chin. <music> Lastly is the lip color which I want to go with the look. This is the unique style Fuchsia lip liner and as you can see it's over but I don't want to throw it away. And hence after lining my lips with it, I am using a worn lipstick in ripe papaya and applying it all over my lips. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I will mention the link below in the description box. And please don't forget to hit like and subscribe button. This is the finished look. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for more videos in future. Bye bye.